Hi, welcome to another adventure at Weaver Stone House Farm. Today we are processing our cabbage that we grew into sauerkraut. So come along and I'll show you what we're doing. Okay, so we picked our cabbage this morning, we cleaned it, we had really nice heads this year and they're starting to split from all the rain we're getting so it's time to do our sauerkraut. Okay, so most sauerkraut you buy in the stores is very finely shredded. We prefer a little bit, you know, hardier shred. So we're just cutting it up, it's going in the bowl. And then Molly, what do we do with it? We squish it. Okay, and we show put me. it in. You pack it in? Yes, and we squish it. Okay. Okay, so in the jar it goes with a teaspoon and a half of salt. We'll fill them up with water, put the lids on, loosely you know not too tight not too loose and we'll let it sit in a cool dark place like your basement to ferment for 10 days after 10 days well before the 10 days you should go down and check them every once in a while to let off some pressure and make sure they're f fermenting well at 10 days you will water bath them for about 25 minutes and then you will have your sauerkraut for the year Wash some jars, guys. Okay, there it is. <clears throat> Good heads of cabbage this year, Graham. What? Good heads of cabbage this year. Yes, it is. I there was one weighed nine pounds. <laughs> so we're gonna have lots of sauerkraut for the winter. Good. We use Redmond's real salt. Okay. Putting the salt in? Yep. What, one and a half teaspoons, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna dump it. Okay. okay. You can dump this one. Okay. Erin, can you put this on? Yeah. Dump it. Okay, dump it so this is some of the cabbage that we have done, which will ferment and turn into sauerkraut. And the salt is in these jars, and we have more jars showing up as we speak. Nice. So once the jars are packed, we fill them with water and then just stamp it down a little bit to push the cabbage under the water and to push up any air bubbles. You want all the cabbage to be covered with about an inch of head space. So they just put the jar, let the lids on loosely and we'll leave them to ferment. And then we just let them sit. We let them sit. Okay, then we put them back in the uh, root cellar. Okay. Oh, they didn't pack this <laughs> The packers didn't pack it that good. Huh? Ah, well. Alright, like, subscribe, and follow along on Weaver Stone House Farms. See ya.